Mick, they were going to talk about exams after that, and uh, exams scrapped in schools? Not me saying it, it's the headmaster of Eton. He has today questioned their value, and uh, we've got the word poet Sully uh, Bricks, who will give his view in his own distinct way right after this. All I'm saying is that if there was a family tree, hard work and education would be related, but school would probably be a distant cousin. If education is the key, then school is Sky News Sunrise on a Tuesday. Uh, joining us on the couch now, we've got a, a lad called Suli Bricks. Suli is a spoken word poet. He's got strong views on comments by the head of Britain's top public school who has attacked the exam system. Now, the headmaster of Eton, his name is uh, Tony Little, he said, there's a real risk that the measurable parts become more important than the whole we compound the problem by having an unimaginative exam system. Little has changed from Victorian times, which obliges students to sit alone at their desks in preparation for a world in which, for much of the time, they will need to work collaboratively as opposed to singly. Um, Suli is here, and um, I suppose you've, you've had a bit of an online hit, haven't you? And this was, I will not let an exam result decide my fate, which yeah. was just like music to the ears of so many <laughs> students. Um, so you, you're, you're anti-exam, are you anti-education? I'm not anti-education, I'm, but I'm anti-exam. I'm, um, I'm definitely anti the way um, this um, education is being um, um, applied at the moment. I definitely, I'm anti the way there's an emphasis on regurgitation and retention of information as opposed to the practical application of it, which is what we need in the real world. So I'm not anti-education, yeah. but I guess I'm anti-school in its current context. Isn't it amazing uh, that you've got somebody that agrees with you in the form of the headmaster of Eton? Yeah, it's amazing. I would have never believed that when I was in school, you know what I mean? So it's, it's amazing, but I definitely think there's a big um, awareness around society and just um, the world as a whole globally that we need to change the system because the world is evolving constantly and the system needs to evolve with it to adhere to what we need as a generation. Yes, uh, you will say it much more lyrically than, than, than I will <laughs> and, and this is how he has put, put it in the form of a poem. Let's have a, a listen to Sully. How many times have you remembered something five minutes just after the teacher said stop writing? only to receive your results one month later to realise that you were only one mark short of the top grade. Does that mean remembering five minutes earlier would have made you more qualified for a particular job? Well, on the application form, it would have. That's going to resonate with so many people that have taken exams, isn't it, mm -hmm. Eamon? Because I remember oh, yeah, we... taking exams and you'd walk out of the hall and think, oh, <laughs> I just remember what I needed to write down. And you only have an hour to... It's almost like a brain dump, yeah, isn't it? Everything yeah. you've been cramming in, you just unload it into that... that you know, but yeah. what job is like that where you have to sit there and just that's regurgitate what, that's information? What I, to I totally think, and I think there's an emphasis on learning the knowledge but not applying it. And if you don't apply knowledge, it's not wisdom, and that was my biggest problem. But if it works for you, I have got my star pupil beside you here today who did very well in her exams at school. <laughs> and you liked ex you liked the exams and the exam yeah. system. Yeah, I did. I just like the fact you were tested at the end, and to me, I think. You know, it's all very well saying we'd like a different system, but what kind of system would you have that would be would be fair to all? Which is, you know, learning everything and then applying it to the questions you're asked. And lots of jobs are like that. I mean, our job is a bit like that, isn't it? You, you know, I revise before the Olympics. You know, I'll, I'll sort of revise before Wimbledon or any yeah. of the events I cover. So do you. So do you. And then, you know, applying the salient points and people give presentations very similarly. Take the information down, and give the salient points out to your to your audience. So it's very similar to exams. And I think, you know, that honing of information is, is sort of important for children to learn rather than this whole thing that they learn. And, you know, over the two years of their course. Um, yeah, I can agree with that to an extent because I was one of the people that excelled. But just because I feel like I benefited from the system, it's not fair for me to agree with it simply because a lot of my peers didn't benefit just because their, edu their intelligence is not catered towards that way of learning. And I definitely think if school is meant to be for everyone, there definitely needs to be a method which works for more than one type of intelligence. You know, there's so many different aspects of intelligence that we don't acknowledge. And I saw a lot of my peers go down different ways simply because they're, they're, they were forced into that way of learning. So, so the assessment route you probably think is a good way of doing it so you've got a bit more time to you know come up with your essay and then that's assessed you know during the term time Certain whereas the, 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 they're going back to the old system now which is everything on the day everything on the yeah, exam and you don't agree with that. Work, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that not for everyone not for everyone I don't, I don't know if, I, I don't think there's one definitive method but I definitely think there needs to be a way to cater towards individualism because as a society we're individuals okay. we grow as individuals as, a, as opposed to just being one collective mindset I think collective thinking is very 
dangerous. And I think that's what is taught within okay. within that system. Well, I have to set homework now, Suli, which is get <laughs> your comments and questions into us and your opinions on this um, this morning. Suli, lovely talking to you. Thank you for your poem as well. Can I have my hat back? Uh, <laughs> I lent him that to, to tidy him up this morning. Sorry, I got but, another uh, one for you. Don't, don't be you going home in it. That's all I'm saying to you, OK? Uh, sports headlines, Jacqueline. Yeah. I'd be like Frank Spencer in that, wouldn't I? <laughs> I was just thinking exactly the same thing. Uh, mm, I got 